Now we're gonna go ahead and actually talk about the downsides of using many to many fields in this manner. So let's go ahead and jump into the Python shell and make sure that you've already created a few playlist items with a few videos that are associated to one of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do from playlists.models, we're gonna import playlist, and then from videos.models, we're gonna import video. Okay, so first of all, the video query set, so video.objects.all, uh, that's probably not that surprising. We can just get a query set just like this. And we can also reorder this query set with dot order by, and we can do it by like, let's say the reverse timestamp. This should in theory give me the reverse order based off of the IDs, right? Uh, or I could do it as the forward timestamp, right? I could actually order it in a lot of different ways. I can also buy the ordering of updated. I don't actually know if those are all gonna be different. At this point, they're not. But of course, if you go through and do some saves and changes, you might actually see different orders here. But the general idea is when I call this dot order by, it just resorts that query set based off of the field that I'm using, right? So in this case, it's timestamp. This one, it's, it's updated. But what if I actually wanted to order a video uh, query set by, let's say, a different field called, well, what if we had an actual field that we did, which we called order, right? In this case, I actually don't have that field on there. And it gives me this, you cannot, cannot order this into this field because the video model itself only has these items available. Okay, so this is actually one of the downsides of how many to many fields work. Because if we actually grab the playlist object, so in my case, I'll go ahead and say obj equals to playlist.objects.get, and ID equals to three. I can now do another query set and say video QS equals to obj.videos.all. That is another video query set. It is not a playlist query set. It's literally a video query set. And that's what the many to many field does. It gives you this really nice connection between these two models, but it actually doesn't give us any additional features that help us understand that connection at all. Right, so I have no idea when these things were added, individually added, like when video object two, when was that added to this playlist? When was video object four? I have no clue, right? There's actually no way to actually know that with how it's currently done. So that is one of the biggest downsides of these many to many fields. Now, fortunately for us, there is a way to make it happen. So what I need to do is actually remove my old many to many field. I need to remove it from my model and in my database. So that of course is gonna clear out some entries, but we need to do it because of what we're about to do. So let's run python manage.py make migrations and then python manage.py migrate. Cool. Um, so now with that removed, I'm now gonna go ahead and create a brand new model. This actual model will give me information about that relationship between a playlist item. So whether it's the playlist itself or the video, we want that relationship. So we'll go ahead and do models.model. And the first thing is I wanna declare playlist being models.foreign key. So no surprise here, we're actually connecting it to the playlist itself. And since we just got rid of the many to many field, I also need to have the videos. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this same thing, but just do video here, lowercase video and uppercase this video. Okay, um, so what this actually allows me to do then is on any given playlist object, so playlist obj, that of course is an instance of this playlist itself, I can now say playlist obj dot playlist item set dot all, almost identical to what we just had to the many to many field. In fact, this is basically the same thing. It's not the same thing technically, but the way we can actually return things, it almost is the same thing. The biggest difference is this query set would not be a video query set, but rather a playlist item query set. So playlist item dot objects dot all, assuming that they were all connected. But in this case, they're not, all right? So that's actually not what we need to worry about. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and now make that timestamp. So I actually wanna add in a timestamp on this field as well, cool. So you might think that we're done with just this, but we're not, because I, like I said, we can actually extend the many-to-many -many field itself. So I'm gonna bring back videos in here now, 
And now I'm actually gonna pass it through that actual model. So through the playlist item model. Now a huge caveat to this is, is the actual fields have to correspond correctly. So this field right here, this video field, as well as the model class here, both of those things have to be foreign key relationships on the one it's passing through. And this is actually not a correct foreign key. We also need to pass in an on delete parameter. And what is it that we want to happen with this on delete? Well, if it makes sense, if the video that's associated here is deleted, we're gonna to wanna to run models.cascade. As in, hey, delete that relationship, delete the relationship that this once had because one of the sources is gone. And that's gonna be true for the playlist as well. So if the playlist is gone, delete that relationship altogether. Delete the entire instance that this represents. Of course, it has nothing to do with the playlist itself or the video itself. It just has to do with the relationship. The relationship's over, sever it, remove it. We do not need to set it as null or set some other default. Okay, cool. Um, so now that we've got this, I have this timestamp in here, and this actually gives me information about when I'm adding data into this playlist. So if I add a video in here, what's gonna happen is it's actually gonna also create an instance of the playlist item and store this relationship. We'll see that in just a moment. So let's go ahead and add one more field in here that I want about this relationship, and that is the order. So it's gonna be models.integer field, and this is default to just one. Okay, so this means then that I can actually do a query set that is playlist item.objects.filter playlist equals to you know my playlist obj and then I can order by the order, right? So I can actually order it by this or I can order it by the timestamp as it's a when it was added. Um, so that actually gives me a order of these playlist items, which is really, really cool. So that is exactly what I wanted. But of course the query set itself is not videos. So to actually get those videos, you would, you would use uh, each item in there uh, like so for obj and qs you would actually get the video with obj.video uh, we'll talk about that once we actually start to display this data uh, but for now we have this playlist item in here i will go ahead and have a default ordering with class meta ordering going to the actual order and then let's go to the reverse timestamp as in the oldest ones or is it rather the newest ones first okay cool so now I've got a brand new model and I've got a brand new video uh, uh, playlist item here. So let's go ahead and run our migrations again. So Python manage.py make migrations and then Python manage.py migrate. Okay, so I get this error of this table already existing. So this playlist related item already exists. Now this actually is probably due to my testing, not to really anything major. Uh, but one of the things that I might need to do is actually just delete my database, which is actually what I'll end up doing. Now, the reason I'm doing this in this kind of weird direction is I didn't want to introduce this before we actually understood many to many fields, because this adds another layer of complexity that we didn't have with just many to many fields. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and delete my database and I'll have to rebuild a bunch of things related to it and I'll do that off the video. But let's go ahead and run our migrations now and see if we get any errors. This time I did not, right? So I actually have everything running. Let's go ahead and just create a super user. Uh, create super user, whatever password. And let's go ahead and jump into the admin and we will customize this a bit more but now I should actually have no s actual items in here yet. So let's go into our playlist, go to add playlist. Uh, notice that the many to many field is now gone. So that's actually what I wanted to show you is that I can't even have access to that many to many field anymore as it stands by default. We need to customize that and that's something we'll do in the next one. And that will also give us a little bit more insight into how the playlist item itself works.